Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between do get and do post method or I can say uh, the difference between uh, two types of method get and post. So already in our previous video, we have discussed how to create dynamic web project and how to run a sublet on a Tomcat web server. Also, we have discussed how to make a interaction between HTML form and the sublet. So in case if you haven't watched that video, so the link is available in the description. So please watch that videos uh, to get a clear understanding about this video. So now let us understand this one. So what is the difference between do get and do post? So right now you can see I have a I'm, I'm using the same uh, project and the same application uh, which I have used in my previous video. So right now you can see I have a login page dot HTML. So there I have a GUI to accept username and the password. And the moment I click my submit button, it is going to invoke my login sublet. In that login sublet, I have just written a code to read username and password and I'm just writing some business logic to display welcome message or to display invalid username based on the credential. So these things already we have discussed in our previous video. So now we are going to understand what is the difference between do get and do post. So do get and do post both are predefined method from HTTP sublet class. In your sublet, when we are creating a web application, in your sublet, we can override either do get or do post method. So both are uh, HTTP protocol specific functionality. So finally, web application is based on HTTP protocol. Either I can override do get or do post. So now let us understand what is the difference between do get and do post and what is the default method. So right now you can look at my uh, login page.html. In a form tag, I have specified my action to call my sublet, but I have not specified what is my method. And in my login sublet, I have overridden do get, do get method and I have written some logic. So let me run this HTML page and let me understand whether by default it is invoking my do get method or not. So my login page is displayed. So I'm just going to give a correct credential as per my business logic in my sublet. Uh, the correct credentials are admin and the password is 123. Yes, it is successfully invoking my do get method and it is displaying welcome at me. So which means by default method type get is the default one so that's why you can see my html page i have not specified what is my method by default it is invoking do get method which means get is the default one so finally don't forget friends get method is the default one let us go and observe our output URL. You can look at the <coughs> URL. It is displaying my sublet name, nothing but login sublet. Also, it is displaying my submitted data 
including my password so which is not a securable one so finally if i am sending a data from html to sublet by using method type get then always it will send our submitted data via address bar which is not a securable one let us assume that we are purchasing some uh, uh, product in a e-commerce website maybe flipkart or, Am or amazon so we will enter our credit card details or our net banking details so if the e-commerce website is using do get method so definitely the data will go via address bar which means my credit card and credit card pin and ccv number everything will be visible so finally it is not a secure one but at the same time it is faster one uh, bs we have plus as well as minus point uh, in case of do get as well as do post so do get the plus point is since it's sending a data via address bar it will be faster but the minus point is all the submitted data will be visible to the user i mean uh, any user maybe if i work on browsing center definitely everybody can see it right so finally the plus point is yes do get is faster but the minus point is all the submitted data will go via address bar which means it will be visible to the outside so anybody can see it let me uh, close this output and let me make it as do post instead of do get i am making as do post so already we know that get is the default one but post is not a default one so which means i have to specify in my html form saying that right now i am sending a data with the help of method post so in our previous type we didn't specify what is a method yes by default the method is get so that's why it is directly invoking a uh, do get method but in case of post method type we have to specify manually yes post is not a default word since method type is post it is going to invoke do post method now let me run the same code once again and we'll observe our url so that you will be getting a clear picture about difference between do get and do post okay so now my output is launched same as previously i am just entering my correct credential at me and password is 123 you can look at my output it is displaying a message welcome at me but this time you see the url it is just displaying about up to my sublet name that's it but in case of previously it was displaying login sublet and question mark username password whatever i have submitted it was displaying on my url but this time you can see it is not displaying any of my submitted data on my address bar so which means do post is not sending a data via address bar it is sending a submitted data to the server via http protocol body so finally do post is the most secure one but at the same time it's compare with uh, do get it's little slower because it has to bind the data uh, inside http protocol body so it will take a little time so finally depends your application sometimes you may go for do get or you may go for do post 
maybe if it is not a uh, secure data and you want to make it faster then you will go for do, do get so which will push the data via address bar yes the data is not a secure one right but sometimes it may be a credit card transaction or it may be a net banking application so in that case definitely i cannot go for do get yes i need to uh, secure my customer data in that case i will go for do post so hope friends we got uh, some idea about the difference between do get and do post method in sublet so in our next video we'll discuss about uh, how to make a redirection for example right now we are actually uh, displaying a welcome message or invalid username on the same sublet itself but actually in real time we will not do like this so we will redirect to the uh, success page or failure page so in our next video we'll see uh, how to make a redirection from sublet to jsp or html thanks friends for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload a new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends